Hi, it's Paris from Epic Reviews, the health channel, and we're back from our spring break trip to West Texas and our climb up Guadalupe Peak, which we use as a test for these three sunscreens to see which one could best keep us from getting sunburned. Each of us wore one of these, and uh, kind of interesting results turned out. I was hoping nobody would get any burn at all, but actually two of us did get a little bit of sunburn. One of us, though, ended up as white as when they started climbing, so it was really interesting, somewhat of a surprise. I'll put the links for all three of these right below in the description if you want to check those out. And now, without further ado, I'll show you the video of our results up at Guadalupe Peak. Hi, it's Paris from Epic Reviews, and we're about to do the conclusion part of our suntan sunscreen comparison test. I've got the Walgreens spray, she's got the no-add lotion, and she's got the copper tone foaming. We're going to put it on the arms, neck, faces, on the top of my head, everywhere. And then we're going to hike up there, Guadalupe Peak, as far as we can make it, at least a few hours anyway, even if we don't make it to the top. Then back down, then we'll do another videotape and show how it did with suntan lotion. It is very sunny. It's a little cold here with the wind, but the sun is really hot. Okay, we're going to apply this now. Okay, change in pressure from Carlsbad up here. So the stuff, that's one downside of the lotion, is that um, it, a ton of it will pour out if you get it at a spot that it's changed altitude. Let me get some over here. We're slathering, and we will reapply it. I'm not going to bring this whole bottle all the way up, though, so I brought a little baggie, and I'm going to put a few ounces of this in the baggie. And I'm going to bring that up, and then um, we'll reapply it from that. I don't want to carry this all the way up and back down. Here we're going to apply the foaming copper tone here. I hope it doesn't explode because of the altitude. I'll blame it on the altitude. You can see it foams up, and then you've got to rub it in everywhere. All right, and for me, the Walgreens Continuous Spray. Again, I'm not going to make the mistake I made before of getting zebra stripe sunburn, so I'm definitely going to rub it in after. Don't want to get it on the camera. I'm going to move over this way. I'm definitely going to rub it in after applying it. Everywhere. Thank you. Okay, well, we did our climbing. It's five hours later. We went most of the way up that one. That's actually not the final peak, Guadalupe Peak. You have to go over that, over another ridge, another ridge, and then finally you get up there. So we made it to what people told us about halfway. It took us five hours to get up there and back. Here's what we were wearing, so you can take a look at it. I'm wearing the Walgreens. My hands and arms are fine, but I'm going to my neck. Sunburned, maybe my face. And I did apply this again about halfway through. Now we've got the No Ad brand here. It's kind of turtle. Arms are good to the face. Definitely pink though on the cheeks, the nose. So a little bit of sunburn there where it was the most intense. And then we have this ceramically white person here who used the foaming. Um, Says this person ever been in the sun? Anyway, this is the copper tone uh, foaming one, oil free. Now, this is 75 SPF, this is 50, and that's 45. I heard it wouldn't make that much difference, so I don't know if it's the SPF or actually the brand, but if you want to end up looking this color when you're done, this looks like the one to get. So, to my surprise, this foaming, kind of weird first time I ever tried to use it sunscreen actually was the best of the three. And, you know, sometimes you might apply it differently or some quirky thing happens. And so uh, yesterday we actually went to the state fair that's visiting here in Austin. We were outside for probably also about five hours, not at any kind of elevation. But uh, we were out there without any jackets. I had a hat on. Um, but we certainly would have gotten sunburned um, in that amount of time if we hadn't had some sunscreen on. And so I actually wore the foam uh, yesterday. I'm the one who tend, who's most prone to getting sunburned. I put the foam on. I was out there five hours. I meant to reapply it, but we kept thinking, well, we'll just do one more thing and leave, one more thing and leave. So we ended up about five hours there with just one application of this. And normally, I would actually be somewhat cooked, but I'll show you. I might have picked up a little color, but um, I did not get sunburned using this foam. So again, I'll put the link down below to all three of these if you want to check them out, see what other reviews say about them. They're all in the $10 price range, maybe a little more, a little less, depending on when you buy them. But for us, for my family this summer, we're going to be using this one, the Copper Tone Foaming Oil-Free SPF 75. It seems to do a really excellent job of blocking out the sun's rays. 